and there's a four week major season coming up, four huge tournaments that you know have a really big importance. What a great four weeks to be feeling fresh and ready. Scott was certainly in peak form to start the 2013 FedEx Cup playoffs, storming back from a six shot deficit during the final round of the Barclays to take the clubhouse lead at 11 under, a number no one could match down the stretch. And Adam Scott has won the Barclays. It was great to get another win for Barclays and kind of build on what had already been a great year. Coming off the second multi-win season of his career, the Aussie has continued to develop into one of the most consistent players in the game. The last couple of years has really come on. He's played really good golf, won some big tournaments. Scott has accomplished many feats already in his career, including becoming the first Aussie to ever win the Masters. I'd love to be the greatest Australian that ever played, but I've got a long way to go to get that. The sense of national identity is key for Scott, who grew up, like so many young Aussie golfers, idolizing Greg Norman. Greg Norman was the guy who inspired me to dream of being a professional golfer. It was very important to have inspiration. Greg was playing it like really no one else was playing it. So you couldn't help but be caught up in that. Australians really look forward to seeing we're doing well. Certainly Adam was the biggest thing we've had in golf for a long time. The parallels between Scott and Norman grew stronger during the 2013-14 season when he spent 11 weeks as the number one ranked player in the official world golf ranking. The first Aussie to ascend to the top spot since Norman in 1997. Any time that I achieve anything that Greg Norman's done in his golfing career, then I've done well and that's a great feeling. It's childhood dreams coming true so it's been an incredible journey for me that's for sure in his first start as world number one scott faced off with jason duffner in a playoff at the crown plaza invitational at colonial should be perfect distance for that second playoff hole i knew he had a great yardage and he would hit it close what a shot from pga champion jason duffner at that point, I have to make it, and uh, fortunately, I did. That was clutch. But to then rip a couple down 18 and hit it in close and kind of turn the momentum so quickly to win was extremely satisfying for me, especially over a player of Jason's standard. No one out of the world! Text Colonial! It's always good when you're going against number one in the world to have him test you a little bit. It would have been nice to beat him, but maybe next time. Scott ventured into the 2014 playoffs at 15th in the FedEx Cup standings. And while he has joined his idol Norman as a major champion and top-ranked player, he has his sights set on a prize that neither Norman nor any Australian has ever won, the FedEx Cup. There are things as your career goes on, you know, like a checklist that you'd like to tick off. The FedEx Cup's been added to that list. I'm going to have to really start playing some golf between now and September to get that one. 